Hi everybody, this is David Keene with Value Charts, and this is the uh, free video for Friday, August 19th. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, this is actually monthly option expiration. And uh, one way we can potentially trade uh, monthly option expiration is in SPX. Now, you have to remember that the SPX options that we trade, we actually have um, a very weird settlement close because the last day to trade SPX is Thursday. However, the price at which the, we determine whether something is in the money or out of the money, uh, the settlement price actually gets calculated Friday morning at the open. But with that said, uh, we do have some opportunities to trade SPX. One way I like to do it is, uh, again, in the same way we look at the weekly power options, we will look at both the daily and then like the 11 hour options, look at the hourly. Now, lots of times when I'm looking, I'm looking at the weekly highs, the weekly lows, and a lot of times that falls pretty close to the general area where I would consider writing a credit spread. So right now, the, the high here is 21.95. Uh, the high here on this pivot high is 21.86. So that area right around 21.90 is a good place to write a credit spread. Same thing here, the weekly lows coming in, it's right around 21.70. So you can either write write it just below this pivot low. So 2165 is a really good place to write a credit spread. 2170 is also pretty good. It's just a little bit more aggressive. You'll find that the markets, especially here late in the summer, has a tendency to uh, consolidate. It doesn't tend to move much. It tends to move in range-bound price movements. So what you're looking at um, is the uh, the various pivot highs and pivot lows here again weekly high weekly low plotted on the hourly weekly high weekly low so therefore use those parameters to write credit spreads you can either do one side or the other side based on momentum if you have a fairly flat momentum profile like this you could also do it as an iron condor okay best of luck trading